Well, I hate to say it, I got to start over again. So, well, I'm not going to read the whole entire chapters this time. That's a lot of reading. So, um, but I just want to summarize every chapter uh, from Jeremiah chapter 56 through 50. If, if you if you want to read it on your own, you can just you know, just read Jeremiah chapter uh, 46 to 50. But uh, as an introduction, you know, remember that Jeremiah went to uh, Egypt and the remnants disobeyed God for going to Egypt rather than staying in Israel. And in chapter 46, we see God is judging Egypt. In that Babylon will strike uh, Egypt, and God will preserve Israel. So we see that there. And then in uh, chapter 46, we see uh, the judgment on the Philistines. And then in chapter 48, we see the judgment of Moab. And then in uh, chapter 49, we see the judgment of Ed, uh, uh, Ammonites, uh, Edom, Damascus, uh, Tr uh, or Kedar and Hazar, in the judgment of Elam or Elam. And in chapter 50, he talks about the judgment of Babylon and yeah, basically Babylon. And we see that again in Revelation chapter 18, uh, which I have similar, kind of, kind of similar to it uh, as a way. But, uh, you know, the, the Babylonian Empire was big, uh, took hold many, many countries and back then. But understand that there, there, there's some like uh, there's some lessons from this particular uh, chapters, is that Egypt is represented as the world, and we see this uh, throughout uh, when when Israel was free from being a slave to the Egyptians, you know, and that God freedom. You know, God really freed the people of Israel, and and trying to start a nation in in the in the Promised Land, and so yeah, so Egypt is a representation of the world, uh, and 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 there's another thing is that we are we must be separated from the world. Now I heard in uh, one of my pastor sermons called "Remembering Jesus" this morning. Uh, he talked about how churches today are compromising their beliefs on either on pornography. Uh, I heard he said something about a Lutheran church to, I think, a group of youth uh, says that something about um, saying it's okay to watch porn, which is not, you know, it's not okay to watch porn. Because porn will destroy the image what God has already created a woman or a man. You know, sex in general is for is for married couples, not for those who you know they say boyfriend and girlfriend and they have sex. No, that's called fornication. You can't do that. As believers, we should we should all have a biblical understanding the the male role model or the the the, the roles of men and the roles of, mo- of women, the roles of, in, in marriages, and and what does the Bible say about sex before marriage? These things are important. You know, you gotta understand that fornication is sin against the Lord. And that it is bon- and it is an abomination for the Lord. And so, as a minister of the gospel, this teaching must be important in the body of Christ. And I believe that it is my responsibility as a minister 
to teach the truth of the Word of God with no compromising at all. We should be 1% biblical when we when, when it comes to preaching and teaching of the Word of God. You gotta understand, all scripture is inspired by God for correction, reproof, or sound doctrine, or training in righteousness. That's what the Bible is for. Not to compromise it and and there's a danger for compromising things. Gotta understand this because people want to play church rather than being the church of the body of Christ. We see how Ananias and Sapphira they got killed by the Holy Spirit because they compromised, they lied to the Holy Spirit. He didn't surrender all to him, and they killed him. Why in that spot? And 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 I gotta understand this because you know the American church today has lost the fear of the Lord. I hate to say this, but it's it's really the truth is that the American church has lost the fear of the Lord. And it, is there a solution to it? You know, yes, there are. It's to humble yourself, repent, confess your sins unto God, be filled with the Holy Ghost, having a life-changing uh a life-changing uh, experience with the Lord. You know, we need to take the Word of God seriously and not to play around. Um, and so, um, so, I'll close with this. Always remember God is love, yet God is wrath as well. God would judge every nation and every people. So I hope that this, you know, uh, you know, I apologize that I did not read the whole entire thing. I uh, I thought I reported it the first time, but it didn't. And you know, that's a lot of reading, and and I'm, you know, trying to catch my breath. All of those readings, so I encourage you to read it on your own. And uh, and just soak into the Word of God as you study the Book of Jeremiah on your own. Uh, I really encourage you to study the Book of Jeremiah on your own. There's a lot of good stuff in the Book of Jeremiah. So again, I thank God for watching. I hope that this blesses you. I hope that this will encourage you to grow closer to the Lord Jesus Christ and to be prepared. For his coming very very soon if you don't know the gospel of the lord jesus christ it's simply that christ died for me and you so that we can have eternal life with the lord jesus christ so yeah so may god bless you and keep you i'll see you again later